Alright dear rats, now what is this Uncle Red has opened a web shop? He's given everybody $500 in credit and apparently we can buy some items. Now guess what, there's some business logic vulnerabilities in here. Let's add some items to cart, shall we? Let's add this Corsair Vengeance LPX 16GB DDR for a few times and let's view our cart 25 items. Wait a second, didn't we only have like a, let's reload, a Ooh, yep, 15 stock. Well, that's a f bit unfortunate. Let's see, our price is 89.99. What is that? Why is the car total not updating when our quantity is updating? That is weird, right? Business logic, my friends. Of course, it's never going to be this obvious, but it's a business logic issue. Price is not multiplied by quantity. Now, let's proceed to checkout, shall we? We can complete our purchase by just filling in some stuff here. Uh, let's just fill in a random email address, Oop, there we go, and an address as well, and complete our purchase. Now, let's see, oh, the stock then decreased, so we can even buy more and more items. And there's even a little bit of a hidden gem here, the price is determined by a hidden input field. Now, this one doesn't directly affect anything, so that's a little bit unfortunate, because if we add things to cart, that price is not going to affect anything, but it is there. So, wallet never decreasing being able to buy more items than are in stock maybe even being able to buy items that are not available yet because we have a product identifier let's change that to 99 and let's add that to cart shall we so we have our evo right here add to cart we have uh, let's view our cart all right so that item for some reason it took the amd 7 for a price of zero dollars with a price of 3.99 and a quantity of five it's totally freaking out here and our card total is more than our wallet well guess what we can check out anyway so I thought I'd make a quick update on some labs that I've won, uh, released. If you have any questions about the solutions themselves, there's usually a solutions.txt file that you can go to as well. So that's a little bit of a lab video for you, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. Now go solve my labs.